the mentality people bring is really, really important. It starts from the top. It starts from leaders that are willing to forego ego and, you know, share the, the praise, share the blame and realize that I keep going back to this idea of the team sport. But also, I think to, to be willing to embrace vulnerability. Guy, Guy Kawasaki, who many people know is the Apple evangelist, his new book is called Think Remarkable. He's interviewed like 200 leaders and found out what are the commonalities among leaders that are really remarkable themselves and creating remarkable outputs. And one of the commonalities is embracing vulnerability. And I bring that up because it's not just accepting what doesn't stink. It's accepting that there may not be a singular point of attribution, one team versus another, one campaign versus another, but also accepting that failure is part of the process. That when you do A-B testing, there's no, there's a loser in that game every time. And so it's not about failure. It's about learning and being open to those conversations. I can't tell you how many times I've sat in program reviews where the people that own certain programs are never willing to admit that something was wrong. They want to look good. We all do. But if you're not willing to face what wasn't working to get better, then we can't get better. And that's a real emotional blocker that has to be led and evangelized and lived from the top as well.